Hi everyone, it's Gina. Welcome to my channel. A little while has passed since I've posted a video. January is a difficult time for me emotionally, so I took a little break from recording, but I have been painting still. One of my paintings, I actually remembered to press the record button, so that's what I've got for you today, and so I'll just do a quick voiceover. I won't talk through the whole thing, but I used my new tracing light box that I am most excited about, and I introduced you to that in the What's New 2024 video. And I have been using that quite often, and that's how I was able to um, get this sketch onto my watercolor paper. I got the original idea from a video from Nia, and I will try to remember to include a link to her channel in the description box. So please check that out. She is fantastic. I absolutely love her style and love her channel. And she had done um, a similar composition. So I did draw this myself and then use the light box. But as you can see, I'm starting out just putting a wash on pretty much everything. So trying to decipher what colors I want to use I had not planned that out ahead of time, so I just as I went, I decided what color I wanted to paint each item, and so first I just started out with a light wash and just went from there. I will tell you, I do turn the my watercolor paper around quite often, and I understand that can be difficult to watch because I, I keep having to move it, but that is really the only way I can paint. <laughs> And you'll see occasionally I'll bend down and I've got my extra magnifiers on, uh, which is really another game changer for me. It's made it easier, so much easier for me to paint fine lines and small details. I realized before I just couldn't see it. <laughs> so the magnifiers are a nice big addition and they have been awesome. So I'll put a whitewash and then I'll start to add more detail and make things darker, add some shadows, add some texture. Just keep in mind, I'm still very new to watercolor. So there'll probably be many mistakes. Um, if you're an experienced watercolor artist, then you'll definitely see plenty of mistakes, no doubt. I can tell you the part I, I like least would be the leaves, and um, I wasn't overly happy with how they turned out. I believe the leaves would have turned out better if I had used some masking fluid, which I don't own. But if I could have used masking fluid over the circles, the holes in those leaves, and then I could have just painted the leaves as normal, I think they would have come out much better. But we live and we learn. <laughs> so this was just for fun. It was just something I wanted to try. And that's just what you have to do. You just have to go for it. And that's what I decided to do here. I was just going for it. If it didn't turn out, no problem. I just, you know, you're not going to get better unless you practice. And that's really what this was. So when reviewing the footage, I realized that I did not record the very end. And you'll see in the pictures at the end, it looks slightly different than how you see it in the last video recording that, that I have on here. All it was was adding shadows. So you didn't miss a whole lot. In case you're wondering why the pictures at the end do look differently than what the video shows, that's why. If you have been hesitant to try a picture like this, I encourage you to go for it. It may not turn out perfectly, but that is okay. You have to start somewhere. You have to take that step. The only way to get better is to practice. So I encourage you to just get out there and just go for it. Who knows? You may surprise yourself. It may turn out way better than you ever thought you could have uh, done. <laughs> but with that, I'm going to leave you to watch the rest of the video and just listen to the music. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video.